Hey, I'm Jantastic. This is React Holiday, a 25-day crash course through React, and we're on day 21. Now, yesterday we learned a little bit about context, how to create context and use context. Today, I wanna show you how to provide context. So right now, if we click through the app, we see that every time I click something, it is just showing Bulbasaur, which happens to be the default um, that we've provided to create context. Now, there's a little secret in here. Um, when we create context, this, uh, the, the return is actually a, an, an object. So inside of that, uh, we have a uh, provider component. So we can just structure this out or use it directly from Pokemon context. And this is how we provide dynamic values in our app. So let's, uh, let's use that in our application. Uh, let's go down here and wrap our Pokemon component in a context provider. So that looks like Pokemon context dot provider. Again, we can use the property access syntax here to just reach into that object and render this component. Um, now, one thing that provider needs now is a value that we wanna to provide to that component. So do value and we'll just put our Pokemon on context. Save that, and if I did everything right, we should now see new Pokemon come through. Now you'll notice we're no longer passing this Pokemon uh, via props. This takes this component takes no props, um, but it does get a Pokemon from the Pokemon context. So pretty cool. That's how you make context dynamic with a context provider.